Bubbly Steve is available for pre-order at shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. You've got less than a month to pre-order this 15-inch plushie. Check them out. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to dip back in on the Masters of the Universe Revelation debacle. Uh, yeah, must we? <laughs> They're in damage control mode now for sure. Uh, it's been a pretty rough weekend, I'm sure, for Kevin Smith. Uh, it's kind of a rough weekend for us as well. It hasn't been a very good weekend for us either. I gotta tell you, it's uh, Geeky's kind of at a wit's you end. Know, I, I just, you know, we didn't do anything and everybody keeps blaming us for everything. And then he invokes our name in his panel and doesn't apologize. Fine, whatever. But then that was that, tried to send even more people after us. It's like, whatever, dude. Yeah. You know, yeah. you done fucked up. I'm sorry. Sorry, mom. So we're going to talk about the damage control. There will be spoilers about Masters of the Universe Revelation in this video. So if you don't want to be spoiled, don't watch this video. Don't follow Kevin Smith on Twitter because part of the damage control is that he's spoiling part two. Mm -hmm. I think to try to uh, uh, assure people that things are going to be fine. Mm -hmm. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 220,000 subs. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Kind of blew up over this weekend. Yeah. Good and That's bad. Something. We picked up a lot of subs this weekend. Fantastic. But we also got a lot of... Uh, a lot of bots. A lot of bots. Or, like, weird, we got a lot of no bots. No avatar, no follower accounts. Yeah, but that's normal for us, actually. So Kevin Smith is tweeting up a storm about Masters of the Universe as part of the promotion. And it's interesting because in this tweet a couple of days ago, he flat out says, hey, He-Man and God are going to have fights. He talks about Fisto being in it. Um, no, he does. He mentions Fisto. He mentions the Fisto. The of, of Clownfish TV. Fisto has a line in part two that beats it. Better not be Fisto. Oh, so people were asking where the hell was Fisto and, and Clamp Champ and stuff. Yeah, we're, we're all the masters. Now, we have said since our review of the, the first part of Masters of the Universe Revelation that we think part two, they will not necessarily walk things back, but I think they're, they're basically setting up the second part, which is going to have more masters. We'll bring He-Man back in some capacity. Whether or not he stays back. Eh. Yeah, but that's what I think they're doing. And that's why I keep saying that they should have released it as one chunk and not divided it in half and called it a season, which Netflix five episodes is not a season. So stop doing that. It's just stupid. But they probably just, you know, would have been better off to have kept it in one whole chunk through the end so people can see that, you know, oh, okay, you know, if that's what they're going to do and that's what it seems like they're planning on doing. Because a lot of people are just checked out and they aren't going to come back. Yeah, that's that's the problem. And and look, the blowback for all the, the positive chatter of the press and the positive chatter of Kevin Smith, who looks, gotta tell you, this is what he looked like after this weekend. But he's crying on that picture, isn't he? I, I, I don't know. He doesn't look too happy. But then you look at him with clerks. They're yeah, that's all he's talking about now is clerks. This guy, this is his baby. Like, Clerks and mall rats, that, that's his stuff. There is a definite difference between his attitude when it comes to that stuff and doing, doing the uh, corporate mandated mm. kids show, baby show. Yeah, you know, people have pointed out that he has said, like, you know, he didn't want to touch certain things, like certain comic stories and that, because he didn't want to be responsible for it and how the fandoms were. And But then he went ahead and did this one. And what? then, you know, he said, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to reboot something like, you know, like no, Stevenson Stevenson did with she -Ra. I just want to, you know, tell their story. But then he turned around and changed everything anyway because it didn't mean anything to him. Yeah. He hasn't touched the things that mean something to him. Yeah. So, I mean, look, this is where I think, to be fair to Kevin Smith, believe it or not, I'm going to be fair to Kevin Smith. I think We've this always is, tried to be fair. I think this is where his heart is, is telling his own stories. And I think, you know, Masters of the, of the Universe was... Probably just a paycheck for mm -hmm. him and probably a paycheck that allows him to go do other stuff. But he can't let it go. No. And that, that's the thing. It's no. like he has to make sure that he, you know, and he admitted the thing. Oh, there was supposedly two tweets, which we still have never seen evidence there, of this I other tweet. But either that was true 
Then he basically said, I just went after them instead to deflect off the other thing. So basically used us as a punching bag meat shield so that his other big reveal wasn't outed. So either way, it was a shitty thing to do. Either way. So here is his reaction to the blowback. I, I do think it was much more severe than Netflix, Mattel, or Kevin Smith could have ever predicted. And like, I mean, again, somebody who eats, breathes, and sleeps, supposedly pop culture, and, and, you know, keeps an eye on that space and the fandoms, he would know how this was going to play out. Mm -hmm. You know, he would, or you yeah, would think he would know. Maybe he, Maybe he doesn't pay any attention. I don't know. But he invokes uh, Ryan Johnson. From my understanding, he pays a lot of attention to a lot of things. It clearly does. Because anytime like, anybody even made a comment, he's like pouncing on it. Yeah. So I don't know. I just, you know, and I want to go and get on record as saying, because these dumbasses don't listen to the channel, so it's kind of pointless to say it, keep saying this stuff. You know, you are allowed to like it. Like, no one says you aren't allowed to like it. And the same goes with all, like, she run all this stuff. The problem we have is the fact that you are not allowed to not like things. And where, you know, you're, you have to justify everything you say. And I'm not going to go after somebody who likes it. They're more than, they're more than okay. They're welcome to like it. I mean, that's their thing. If they want, they like it, good on them. Mm. I just don't think it's necessary for them to come after me to, to shit on me because they like it and I don't. I'm not, I mean, you're, I'm not saying you shouldn't like this show. I'm saying here's why we don't like the show, but I've never said, but you have to hate it too, because we said so. Yeah. We've yeah. never done that. So it's interesting. This is coming from the New York Post. Kevin Smith said he was not expecting. Oh, yeah, you were telling me about this. Yeah, he was not expecting the outrage. You weren't expecting it. God, we could have told you. We use the mythology that Mattel created. Uh, he told the Post on the phone from New Jersey, where he's currently preparing Clerks 3, where he actually you know, cares about that. It was kind of an homage to every version of He-Man. That's not how they sold it. So I was like, when this comes out, fans are going to lose their shit. They did. And I was half right. I've watched fandoms get mad at creators before, like Ryan Johnson on The Last Jedi. It was garbage. And heading into it, I was like, I'm not going to do that yet. Here we are. So you never know. Dude, you literally did the same thing. Mm -hmm. You killed off beloved characters. You ruined other characters by making them act uh, not like themselves. And you pushed aside... Uh, old characters for new characters like uh, Andra. You mm -hmm. know, she she was clearly a lead and she was barely in any Masters. Which is fine. Stuff. You can add new characters to it. The problem is, is they're, you know, they're making her like a main focus over other characters. But it's, it's a He-Man show. It's, it's the main character of Masters of the Universe was He-Man. You yep. let all this marketing leading up to it. You said it was a love letter to the fans. It was, you know, it was going to be, you know, for the fans and continuation of the original series. It's none of those things. Expectations were not set realistically. Right, you, that's just it. I think if you had set the expectations correctly, people would not be so upset. If you had come out and said you're just doing a damn Tila show, or what would, what would happen if Tila found out He-Man's secret and got mad? You know, even though Tila wouldn't have behaved that way from no. the beginning. No. But you could have done that. People would have been like, oh, okay. And it's actually kind of more sexist in the fact that you guys didn't think that Tila could carry the show. So you kind of let, you know, misled people. And it's kind of crap. And you might bring He-Man back around and make an important second half. But if you're going to do that, you should never split it. Yeah, I would, I would agree with that. I mean, this, again, would have been a decent third season for a decent reboot. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you just dropped, again, who's it for? You dropped a new audience into this this concept. You haven't really established it for the new audience yet. There's no baseline. And, uh, you know, old school fans are like, what the hell? First episode, He-Man's dead. What the <gasps> frick? Um, I also want to point out that Hero is voiced by Phil Lamar. And I don't know how they got away with that because according to to all these Hollywood elites and Netflix, you know, there's guidelines and all this shit. You're only allowed to play characters that look like you. That's interesting. And and, and they have Hero here and he doesn't look like Phil Lamar. <laughs> Uh, how the hell is that possible? Now, if they had had a white girl playing Andra, there would have been a whole lot of shit for it because you can't have a white girl playing a black girl. That is true. I, I just want to point that out. Their double standards abound. Anyway, he said he didn't get into the business to upset anybody. This is after... They... Well, I believe that he'd do it on purpose no. to upset people. I mean, who would do that on purpose? He did seem... Look, he He's says... He's kind of giddy about it. He was. That's the thing. Like, he... 
that's that's where this seems like a lot of you know backpedaling here because he was happy he killed Orko. Well, here's the thing though. I don't think he was happy just to kill things to kill things. I think he honestly thought his idea about Orko and about what he was doing was so brilliant and it was going to be so well received and he was so excited about how clever he was that that's what he that's what he was so giddy and like so I I hate that guy. So I made him so you guys feel bad for him and then I kill him. Ha 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 ha. I'm brilliant. And he'll probably be back by the end of the show. The I make sorceress, you know, Tila sorceress, and everybody comes back. I w- Except for He Man, who's now Andra, whatever. Yeah, I know, right? Hey, if that happens, if Andra winds up as the new champion, you have heard it here first. We speculated. We have no idea. No insider I'm just information. Saying, the reason we're making that joke is because Tila sorceress and her champion, he called champion, not mm-hmm. He Man. Well, her champion would probably be Andra, because, you know, she being the only black girl around clearly has to be the descendant of King Grayskull. Because that's how these movies do the shit. Yeah, right. Um, she's the true heir They're to Castle Grayskull. They're all related. Grayskull. Everybody's related. I'm not saying that's what they'll do, but it wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, he said, uh, periodically throughout my career, I've done things that made people unhappy, like Dogma. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, Dogma was, yeah, I mean. It depends on who you talk to. It depends on who you talk to. I went to the theater to go see it, by the way. I, I have never seen it because... I don't really care. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't really care for Kevin Smith stuff. I never really have. Alanis Morissette was God. I knew that. Um, I've never watched his stuff. I mean, well, that's not true. I have seen. I have seen. Um, I think one of the Clerks movies once, a long time ago, and that's it because it just wasn't my thing. It, it, it's kind of a kind of a dude thing. It's kind of a yeah. Dude you're thing. allowed to say that. You're allowed to say they that. They need to go. You know what they need to do? They need to uh, you know you know, turn around and take Clerks three and and take some of the main characters that are men and make them women. And yep. make them have, you know, would have the, the activist haircut and make them complete unlikable bitches for the whole movie. Um, and then, then some of the main characters everybody loves dies. Yeah, there you go. And then, you know, and then he can't say anything. Everybody dies. Uh, he said, yeah, he said uh, Dogma was an example. This time, I think they're just super fans who have their idea of what they were going to see. And I guess we didn't match. You didn't even promote it that correct way. No, it was. It was definitely m- poorly poorly promoted if this is what it was going to be promoting the hell out of he-man and and making the connection to the classic series and saying it was for you know right after continuation and and it's a love letter to fans not the way to go no not the way to go you did this to yourself guys um yeah so i'm not a disruptor i'm not a provocateur so it's a little disconcerting i'm sure it is but you know what you really 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 did not manage expectations well so he said, Tila was one of the first figures launched, and she's in every episode of the cartoon. Oh, here we go again. Fighting beside yes, me, man. Yes, we know. We've yes. covered it extensively way before you started doing the show. So why didn't you put Tila in the show? Yeah, who's that bitch? I mean, that's not Yeah, Tila. I don't know who this bitch is, but it ain't Tila. Uh, no. Why didn't you put Tila in the show? That would have gone over better. I agree. They should have. Uh, I didn't bring anything to this where I'm like, man, watch this woke shit. Some of the takes on it feel like the people haven't seen a movie or TV show like ever in their lives. Oh my God, you know, but like him who watched it so many times in 1981. They seem, here we go. They seem to think that we have done irreversible things to some of their favorite characters. We're halfway through a story. There's so much He-Man in the next five episodes. Ours is one long story cut up in right, chapters. Right, which is what I'm saying. I'm like, even if you planned on bringing it, which I, I've said since we first saw it, I'm like, they're going to put He-Man back in the second half. I have no doubt. People ask me, I'm like, yes, they're going to. I have no doubt of this. How they're going to end it, we don't know, but they're going to put him back in. Um, you should never have split it. You could have, you know, you could have stopped a lot of the shit by managing expectations and not splitting the show into two parts. Yeah. That would have done you... So much good. I can't even tell you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just, again, the expectations were uh, not handled well. Now, yeah, I totally expect them to walk stuff back. But I don't think it's ever going to go back to the actual status quo. I think they'll bring He-Man back. I have a feeling he'll probably die again. Mm-hmm. And then they'll they'll retire the uh, He-Man versus Skeletor conflict in favor of the new sorceress and her champion. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it could just be a source where it fixes everything and it's it's Tila and everything goes back to normal and she gets Adam back because he's her friend and blah, blah, blah. Who knows? I don't know. All I know is a lot of people are, aren't going to come back for the second half because they're so pissed about the first half. Yeah. Um, we'll go back to the second half because, you know, we one, want to make sure you know, we see it through. And two, you know, maybe they will fix it. But I really don't know how they're going to fix it. 
I, you know, the tone's wrong. And that's one thing we Their said. The attitude's wrong. Yeah, the attitude's wrong. But that's one thing we said from the very beginning with, with even these first five episodes was the tone was wrong. The feeling was wrong. The bleakness was not something that was present in. I mean, there, there was some darker elements in the 2002 series. But it wasn't Mad Max hellscape. Yeah, this is just you know? this is just like you know I don't know. He, he wanted to put his heavy metal spin on it. Is the whole thing. Yeah. So Thomas Bacon over at Screen Rant has actually written several, like three or four articles today. Yes. About Kevin Smith's Masters of the Universe, and some of the stuff we agree with, and some of the stuff we don't. I do agree that Part Two needs to recapture. Yeah, the, the one thing this person keeps saying is it doesn't seem to capture the, the original show. It just doesn't. It misses there. Um, it just basically talks about, you know, they brought the characters back, but it doesn't feel like it here. Um, they said they wanted they were making a fan service, and they said, well, certain, certainly fan servicey, the uncomfortable truth is they don't really do justice to the franchise. They said at the heart, original He-Man Masters of the Universe animated series was a show about uh, you know, it was rel relentlessly positive in a world in which viewers could always be confident good would triumph over evil. They said about the moral lessons at the end were easily mocked, but there was something earnest about them. I know that I've heard from voice actors from the He-Man and She-Ra shows. I've seen them talk about it and show creators and showrunners and stuff about people come up to them and show to, at, at cons and stuff and tell them how important this meant, this you know, this episode was, or this character was, or that message everybody made fun of at the end that like, helped them save their family when their house caught on fire or something like that. It meant so much to so many people. And and if you don't understand why people were pissed, Kevin Smith, you just, you don't understand He-Man. Well, I think that fundamentally he doesn't understand He-Man. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem when you put, you put showrunners in charge of franchises they fundamentally don't understand or fandoms they don't understand. that baby understand. show that he didn't want to watch? Yeah, I mean, Alan Oppenheimer is a heartbreaking video clip uh, somebody put it on Twitter. I, I retweeted it and he was talking about how he's had people come up to him over the years and tell him that that cartoon, He-Man and she saved their lives. They, mm -hmm. they contemplated suicide. I've heard this before, yeah. But the positivity of the show, you know, kept them going. There's a reason why the show has endured so long. Same for she -Ra. There's been reasons for this, okay? The reason why a lot of the 80s shows resonate still today. And it, the problem we're having is you're, you're, you're redoing these shows with people who don't understand the originals. And instead of being like, oh, shit, we messed up, it's always everybody else's fault. Usually you're against women or racist or man babies or some bullshit like that. It's not maybe because, well, maybe we thought we were doing something and we did it wrong. Yeah. You know, it's never their fault. That's, that's the biggest problem I have with this. I mean, regardless of whether or not you, you fuck this one up, the attitude. We saw the same thing with She-Ra, too. Yeah, I mean, attitude. at least I'll give She-Ra the, the, the fact that, you know, they did try to do something different with it. But I knew as soon as we saw who the showrunner was, exactly what it was going to be, and I was correct. And as far as She-Ra goes, all that is is another show that Noelle Stevenson wanted to do where they threw She-Ra paint on it and She-Ra character names into it so she could tell her damn story. It's well, not She-Ra. Kevin Smith is bringing up, you know, Superman comics and Suicide Squad comics. I'm like, that's great, but that's that's not He-Man. No. That's... Those, those he might comments. be a mega fan of those things, of those properties. So it does feel like he's like, Oh, I finally get to tell my Superman story I've wanted to tell, but I'm going to do it with He Man. And if I got to warp the other characters to, to fit, you know, I'll, I'll do it. But yeah, um, Thomas Bacon brings up that you know, it's fan servicey in the fact that they have all these toys in there and all these nods to the spend, comics and right, all that. Yeah, you know, we see Preternia, we see a lot of characters that were never in animation before. I can appreciate that. But it doesn't feel like the show and the characters that are front and center do not feel like themselves. Right, and that's one thing. You you have different variations of He-Man that's been going on for years. There's been so many different iterations of it. But the characters still were themselves. And I think that's a part of the problem, too. You, you, you know, you could this could have worked if Tila, you know, they would have been done a little differently. But Tila would, it would have to be like Tila. Yeah. Right yeah. off the bat, Tila's not Tila. Yeah, so he goes on. The story's only halfway through. It's too soon to judge it right. yet. Right, I think there's going to be He-Man and, and Skeletor in the second half. Yeah, um, and what he, he said, he says much, that they're going to have a big battle. Uh, spoilers. And I think he's doing that to do damage control to try to get, you know, uh, to get people on board. Like, oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be fine, guys. It's going to be fine. Um, another article they did today, why Netflix's Masters of the Universe was so controversial. It's pretty obvious. It's a lot of the same stuff, basically talking about it, it was misleading. 
Yes, the marketing is misleading. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why it's so hard for them to figure out. You, yeah. You sold people on one show and then gave them something completely different. Trailer suggested this was a straightforward continuation of the original yeah, series. Yeah, it did. Yep, attentive viewers would have noticed He-Man wasn't actually named in the revival show's title. We, but if you call that out or bring up there's any questions, you immediately got mocked and, and you know, set, people sent after you for, you know, how dare you? Uh, they killed off characters right out of the gate. Um, yeah, it doesn't capture the spirit of the original. So these are all tied together. And, you know, and that's not, he's not wrong. Yeah, so, you know, he's more invested right now in Clerks. I mean, the articles go on and on. This this one, I about hit the roof last night. Cause oh, yeah. Yeah. You, all, got, you may speak on this one because you're the one that was, yeah. For all the talk, everybody's like, Clownfish lied because Tila and Andra aren't a couple. And that was the one point you th thought might not be true. That was the one I was really iffy on. Like, would it they, was the one point that was. I mean, well, they both were. But. Yeah, but would they actually go there with that? I'm like, eh, I don't know. I'll pass along. I'm not sure. And everybody, even Grace Randolph, she's like, they're totally gay for each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, CBR, they're totally gay for each other. I mean, that first episode, or it's actually a second episode where they introduce Andra. It's very clear that Tila has been shacking up with this woman. Mm -hmm. This is her new life because she talks about leaving her old life behind. This is her new life. She shaved her head. It's her, her, her truth. She went to find her truthful life. Her truthful her, life. Uh, life of honesty and truth. Yeah. Yeah, it's very obvious. Uh, very obvious. Yeah, and then they're like, and now these same people who were like throwing shade at us or people have been throwing shit at us for years are like, yeah, that's completely what it is. Well, yeah, that's what we said. Oh, my God. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know if it was CBR per se, but, like, I know a lot of these sites like this were, like, you know, giving us a hard time. How dare you? And now they're like, by the way. Yeah, uh, Bleeding Cool was, I know, comicbook.com was, uh, Screen Rant was actually... Then Screen Rant got yelled at, too, because they, they got said yelled at about, too. They, they point out the Tila and the write-up, which is what we had said. I think, is this low-key, like, Screen Rant's revenge? Like, you called us out for passing along the Tila rumor, so we're going to call you out. have a writer who wants to be honest, and they want yeah, different that's points true. of view. That's true. They want, you know, because they know they can get more hits, they have different points of view. There's something wrong with that. Inverse even is like, hey, Kevin Smith said this is a Superman story. Again, this is this is Kevin Smith doing what he would have loved to have done with Superman to He-Man, but he's had to distort the entire mythos and the characters to be able to do it. Yeah, even okay, the way they have the setup, so you have everything shaded one tone, it mm. should look even more like a dude. Yeah, I know, right? I know. I mean, like, there's no question that <sighs> Tila is a man. Yeah, so, you know, the typical, the review bombing, everything. I'm tired of being told blah, to, be a strong, blah, blah. to be a strong female, I have to look like a dude. I'm like, if you're, ident if you, the way you uh, identify strength as being a, a man, isn't that kind of like, you know, against the whole point of trying to make, you know, women, you know, saying women are strong women out there? It, you know, basically that's kind of sexist because your, your identifiers of strength is all manly things. Pretty much. I'm like... You know, I just, I just, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, there's damage control. I do believe that. Uh, but I hope he has better luck with his Clerks 3. I think he will. And I think that the second part of it, I mean, it might have been the case that they were halfway through it and they're like, oh shit, this is not going to go well. You know, we need to, uh, we need to uh, rethink whether or not we keep He-Man dead. And you could have gotten away with it again in a third season of a reboot. Not, yeah. not right out of the gate. I'm just like, let it, you know, I mean, I wish him better luck. Yeah, I think this thing is going to come and go and die. And Mattel's already got another CG He-Man oh, yeah. show on deck. They're rebooting it. To, but that's a reboot. That's a complete re Yeah, but your expectations are managed. You're like, okay, the cartoon style is kind of weird. It's kind of like anime, chunky, whatever. But you also know this isn't being sold as a continuation mm -hmm. of the old show. This, this was not a continuation. No, it wasn't. Um, so they really needed to. And it's kind of the same with uh, She-Ra, too. Like, they can't get the marketing department to get their shit together because She-Ra, part of their marketing was to attack old school fans, you know? And, and you know, moving forward, I hope Kevin Smith is, stops talking. Stop talking. Because, I mean, just... honestly, a lot of this could have been avoided if he just stopped talking. Yep. So we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.